Yes. Are you certain Corypheus is using the power of the Blight to make himself immortal? Perhaps you forget. I was in Ferelden during the Fifth Blight. I have seen a true Archdemon rage. How Corypheus gained the power to send his soul into blighted bodies, that is the real question. Will answering that question let us destroy Corypheus for good? Perhaps. I would suggest first dealing with the well. If Corypheus obtains it, any chance of success could be lost. You said this Mithal was worshipped as a goddess. So one assumes. What is a god but a being of immense power? The dread old gods were nothing more than dragons, after all. They rise as archdemons. And they die. Perhaps Mathal was a powerful elf, a ruler among her kind. History often plays storyteller with facts. Truthfully, I'm uncertain Mathal was even a single entity. The accounts are varied. There are varied accounts of Mathal? In most stories, Mathal rights wrongs while exercising motherly kindness. Let fly your voice to Mathal, deliverer of justice, protector of sun and earth alike. Other, paint her as dark, vengeful. Pray to Mathal and she would smite your enemies, leaving them in agony. Whatever the truth, all accounts of Mathal end the same. Exiled to the beyond with her brethren. What do you mean, exiled? Tricked by the Dread Wolf, as all the elven gods were said to be, trapped in a land beyond the Fade. Many Dalish believe this is why the Elves fell from grace, and their gods did not save them. Or perhaps they were simply rulers slain by Tevinta. Who can say? Do you know what this part of the temple was used for? The room we stand in is a vestibule, not the temple proper. To those who knew it, perhaps this ritual was little more than a polite knock at the gate. These customs must have been as familiar to ancient elves as bowing to a queen is to you or I. I find it difficult to picture you curtsying to anyone. Why our dear Empress tolerated that is one of the mysteries of our age. Why, Madam Vivian? I expected sweeter barbs from a tongue as subtle as yours. Does this place unnerve you, sir? Or is it I? You unnerve me as would a cockroach crossing the floor making me think new accommodations might be required. <laughs> Much better. You've seen the elves here. They seem... odd. Indeed. Two things are possible. One, this is a group of Dalish separated from their brethren. Cultists, fanatic in their desire to keep humans away. Two, these are elves descended from the ancients, having resided here since before the fall of Arlathan. The second appears unlikely, but if true, the implications are astounding. Is that even possible? How? With magic, anything is possible. Whatever the truth, the Guardians successfully kept the temple a secret. They must kill all who enter, even the Dalish. A more sensible question might be, why? Let's continue. As you wish. It appears the temple's magics are still strong. Is this Elven? Does it say anything about this Well of Sorrows? I only recognize a few phrases. <gasps> ah, a Belisan, meaning place of sorrow. That must be the well. There is something about knowledge, respectful or pure. Shivan. Shivanan. Is all I can translate. That it mentions the well is a good omen. 
At least we know the Well of Sorrows was important. Supplicants to Mathal would have first paid obeisance here. Following their path may aid entry. Perform a ritual to appease Elven God? Long dead or no, I don't like it. If need be, unless you wish to turn back. Venatori have already encountered the temple's guardians. You know what? These elves are starting to scare me. The mages trespassed on their sacred ground. So are we. I'm just saying. I catch them. Hold a moment. While they rush ahead, this leads to our true destination. We should walk the petitioner's path as before. Lady Morrigan was wrong about Corypheus seeking an Alluvian. Do we trust her now? While we dally with rituals, Inquisition soldiers die outside these walls. Down is swifter. Performing these rituals may mean the difference between reaching the well before Corypheus's minions, and not at all. You're very eager to reach our destination. Are we not all eager to stop Corypheus from achieving his mad plan? Sounds like what you want is that well. There is... a danger to the natural order. Legends walked Thedas once, things of might and wonder. Their passing has left us all the lesser. Corypheus would squander the ancient power of the well. I would have it restored. You barely know what the Well of Sorrows is, but you want to restore it? Yes. Is Theda so full of wonders that we should leave them to die one by one? <sighs> Mankind blunders through the world, crushing what it does not understand. Elves, dragons, magic. The list is endless. We must stem the tide or be left with nothing more than the mundane. This I know to be true. I read more in the first chamber than I revealed. It said a great boon is given to those who use the Well of Sorrows, but at a terrible price. What exactly did that altar say about the Well of Sorrows? 
Like most elven writing, it was insufferably vague. The term I deciphered was Halam Shivanas, the sweet sacrifice of duty. It implies the loss of something personal for duty's sake, yet for those who served at this temple, a worthwhile trade. Did you not trust me enough to tell me about this price when you read it? I hoped to find more information. If I intended to cheat you, I would have feigned ignorance entirely. My priority is your cause, but if the opportunity arises to save this well, I am willing to pay the cost. And gain what? That is what we must discover. The rituals may point the way. this meant to be? Fallon Dean, overseer of funerals and guide to the elven dead. I have heard the Dalish invoke him on their deathbed, or before quests from which they expect no return. People cling to whatever gives them hope when their time comes. Perhaps that's why the Dalish sometimes refer to Fallon Dean as the Merciful One. Will you abandon these rich? At last, let's find this well and go.
Tori made sure we're not leaving this way. Let's find another way out. Is not what I expected. What was this chamber used for? Hmm. We're being watched. Venavis. You are unlike the other invaders. You bear the mark of magic, which is... familiar. How has this come to pass? What is your connection to those who first disturbed our slumber? They are my enemies, as well as yours. I am called Abelas. We are sentinels, tasked with standing against those who trespass on sacred ground. We wake only to fight, to preserve this place. Our numbers diminish with each invasion. I know what you seek. Like all who have come before you, you wish to drink from the Vera Belasan. The place of the Way of Sorrows. He speaks of the well. It is not for you. It is not for any of you. We did not come here to fight you, nor to steal from your temple. I do not believe you. Our duty is clear. The Vera Belasan shall not be usurped, even if I must destroy it. Masal Dinan. No! Morgan!
Let's look around. It is a maze. This well of sorrows was clearly not for the common man.
Finally! Andraste, guide us. I want them dead before the Master arrives! Kaltora Verethan! I will... So close. The well knows its vessel. And those who would despoil it. Stand aside, Inquisitor. The trials you set me, I have overcome. As a courtesy, leave now. Or not at all. No, Calpurnia. We have things to discuss. True. I did not think you so civilized. You serve your people. You have one last chance to save them. The Well of Sorrows overflows with knowledge. Power abandoned by those the Elves worshipped as gods. To walk the Fade without the Anchor. That is what the Well of Sorrows will give Corypheus. Why would Corypheus think entering the Fade will work any better than last time? Speech without understanding. I knew you would take the Well for yourself. To ransack its wisdom to try to defeat Corypheus. But you'd still be just a child, playing with a sword. Corypheus will wield it as a master. Once you've drunk from the well, Corypheus will use a ritual on you. You'll be a mindless tool, enslaved to his will. That... Uh, where I come from, idle tales must be proven. Here, the page with his binding ritual. He tried it on your master, Erasthenes. How could you know? And these runes, no one has written in these since... He made so many promises and everyone alive! Then he did Scarven Vass! He was to give Tevinter a true leader. If Corypheus would misuse me, he'd misuse them too. I was blind. That's why you joined Corypheus? To see Tevinter rebuilt? To see her reborn. Slaves allowed their true potential. Corruption excised. Tevinter was the cradle of civilization. Imagine what her future could be. A crafter of wonders. Standing against the savage Kunari. A beacon for all. Perhaps Tevinter does need a strong leader. Be that woman, while you still can. You mock me, Inquisitor. As if you'd let me walk away. The Inquisitor is showing you great mercy, mage. Do not waste it. If Corypheus triumphs. Listen, if any power can challenge him, it lies in the well. Perhaps its price is too high, but if you can take it, humble him. Vitae Benefaria, Inquisitor. Do not follow us. I will give you some time. I go to confront my master. Then I will return to Tevinta, if there is anything left of me. You heard his parting words, Inquisitor. The elf seeks to destroy the Well of Sorrows. So the Sanctum is despoiled at last. You would have destroyed the Well yourself, given the chance. To keep it from your grasping fingers. Better it be lost than bestowed upon the undeserving. Fool. You'd let your people's legacy rot in the shadows. Corypheus needed Calpurnia to use the well. Without her, there's no vessel to claim it. The moment we leave, he will send more forces to secure this place. The well clearly offers power, Inquisitor. If that power can be turned against Corypheus, can you afford not to use it? Do you even know what you ask? 
As each servant of Mithal reached the end of their years, they would pass their knowledge on through this. All that we were, all that we knew, it would be lost forever. This can't be easy, holding on to what's left. You cannot imagine. Each time we awaken, it slips further from our grasp. Why remain? Why perform a duty without purpose? Our duty is all that remains. Those who drank from the Virabalasan paid a great price, bound to the service of Mithal for eternity. You claim Mithal was truly a god? To you, it shall make no difference. Think maybe we were the bad guys? And what if the well was destroyed? Or this entire temple? Are you so eager to die for sympathy's sake? There must have been some other way. Corypheus forced the elf's hand, and ours. Blame him if you must. You'll note the intact Illuvian? I was correct on that count, at least. Is it still a threat? Can Corypheus use it to travel the Fade? You recall when I took you through my Illuvian, I said each required a key? The well is the key. Take its power, and Mathal's last Illuvian will be no more use to Corypheus than glass. I did not expect the well to feel so... hungry. Don't go any closer, Morrigan. I am willing to pay the price the well demands. I am also the best suited to use its knowledge in your service. Do not trust her, Inquisitor. She's a parasite. Only here because she sensed a meal more hearty than you. Hmm. Said by one whose only motive for joining the Inquisition was altruism. Is it altruism or sense not to plunge headfirst into a power you don't remotely understand? Why should I be refused when the reasons to allow it are sound? Of those present, I alone have the training to make use of this. Let me drink, Inquisitor. You alone? You're not the only mage here. I have studied the oldest lore. I have delved into mysteries of which you could only dream. Can you honestly tell me there is anyone better suited? What about you, Vivian? If anyone, it should be you. The mark on your hand may protect you. I don't know who's better suited, and neither do you. I have the best chance of making use of the well for everyone. Let me drink. You're not concerned about the price? Bound forever to the will of Mithal. Bound to the will of a dead god? It seems an empty warning. Perhaps a compulsion yet remains. Who can say otherwise? I do not fear it, even so. I hate to say it, but Abelas's plan to destroy the well may be the best one. What happens when Corypheus comes for you again? He is immortal. The wisdom of the well may include a way to destroy him. Give me this and I fight at your side. I shall be your sword. Thoughts? I would not trust the power in that well with anyone but you, my dear. If it is truly between you and her, then let her take the risk. Make her help us all. You're asking me? This is a lot of... weird... 
I barely understand how any of this works. Enough deliberation. Give me your decision. It's yours. Morgan, are you all right? Elasin <laughs> Salah, Fisan, Fisan Allah. I, I am intact. There is much to sift through, but now we can. It is done. I'm pleased to report we won the battle, Inquisitor. When you went through that mirror, Corypheus and his archdemon fled the field. I'm not sure why. What he wanted was no longer within the temple. Perhaps. He spent so long trying to get into the temple, he probably couldn't have helped his forces by that point. Then Corypheus is finished. If he is wise, he will hide and rebuild his strength before he attacks again. He will not hide. You sound pretty certain when you say that. The Well of Sorrows held many voices. And they speak to me now from across the ages. They hold wisdom. Secrets I never dreamed possible. But even they fear what Corypheus has become. We defeated his army, and Elven Magic killed him at the temple. He's not invincible. Not invincible, but incredibly powerful and immortal. Yet, there is a way. The dragon he calls is not truly an archdemon. It is a dragon 
in which Corypheus has invested part of his being. He doubtless did so out of pride to emulate the gods of old. That pride can be exploited. Kill the dragon, and his ability to leap into other bodies is disrupted. He can be slain. Just kill his dragon? Why didn't we think of that before? There is a way to defeat the dragon, to match Corypheus in his power. The well whispers it to me now. Your help will be required, Inquisitor. Speak to me when you are ready, and we shall begin. I'll see to Skyhold's defenses in the meantime. We'll be spread thin until the rest of our forces return from the Arbor Wilds. Of course. Let us begin. Inquisitor. Letters are pouring in from all corners. Congratulations, pledges of loyalty, conversions to Andraste. All premature until we deal with Corypheus. Come swiftly, this moment that will be spoken of for ages. The day the Herald of Andraste challenged the Darkspawn that thought itself a god. Defeat him, and you'll be more than a holy woman to the people. You'll enter legend. I couldn't have come this far without the Inquisition at my back. And there is the modesty people respect. People joined the Inquisition after hearing you were blessed, but they've stayed because of how you lead. I wanted to tell you that I shared their sentiments, Inquisitor, and... Well, I suppose I just did. You've always been there for us, Josephine. And for me. It means much to hear you say that. Farewell, my lady. When you face Corypheus, may you walk in the light.
forge like this, who needs the view?
Of course. Night Enchanter. It's been quite the momentous day, hasn't it, my dear? We should probably give some thought to the very likely possibility that Morrigan will use her new power against us. What's our plan if she does? Circle records have limited information on shapeshifting. There are mentions of counter spells that may prevent mages from transforming or from reverting to their true forms. I have my people researching these spells now. If they have ever been documented, I'll find them. The pieces are nearly in place. We'll soon strike against Corypheus directly. You've done well. I will be proud to fight alongside you when the time comes. been made of you, Inquisitor. Here it is. What is your evaluation of how we're doing? I am able to pursue my duties with optimal efficiency, thanks to Skyhold's present state. As you were? Yes, Inquisitor. What happened at the Elven Temple? It's got me thinking. I should go back, shouldn't I? To Tavinta. Once this is done, if we're still alive. All my talk of how terribly wrong things are back home. But what do I do about it? Nothing. How does this relate to the Elven Temple? You encountered ancient elves. A piece of history. Something the Imperium didn't destroy. Maybe my people can atone for what we've done. There is something still left to restore. Maybe not all of us want to, but that could be altered. If you can change minds, so can I. You're not doing nothing, Dorian. You came here. You're fighting with us. Thank you for saying that. I want to do more than stop Corypheus, however. I want to save my home. It might surprise you to know that you're the one who inspired me. You're shaping the world, for good or ill. How could I aspire to do any less? If it means proving that Tevinter can be better, that there's hope even for my homeland, I would do anything. Questions, questions. I should go. Try not to die. I would notice you were gone. A message from Divine Justinia. That's a shock. You all right reading it? Thank you for the concern, Inquisitor. But I am. This message was written months, perhaps even years ago, to be delivered to me if she died. I've heard of such contingency plans. A sudden death often leaves loose ends. I'm to go to Valence, a small village on the waking sea. There is something hidden there. You know what you're looking for? The Divine was a powerful woman who used her position to obtain all sorts of things. Whatever she hid in Valence would very likely benefit the Inquisition and must be kept from falling into the wrong hands. If I'm lucky, she will have instructions for me. Why hide things in Valence? What's so special about it? Justinia was revered mother at the Chantry there for many years before she became the Divine. 
It is a place that holds great meaning for her. I'll help in whatever way I can. Wonderful. I was hoping you would agree to come with me to Valence. One more thing. If what is hidden in Valence is as valuable as I think, we're not going to be the only ones looking for it. I shall meet you at the Chantry in Valence. Try not to delay. The Temple of Methal sounds truly astounding. I would have liked to have seen it. What will you do with the power of the well once Corypheus is dead? I'm not arrogant enough to think it's my decision alone. Whatever happens, we'll do it together. You think to share your power. To avoid the temptation to misuse it. A noble sentiment, but ultimately a mistake. Why? Because while one selfless woman may walk away from the lure of power's corruption, no group has ever done so. If other members of the Inquisition overstep their bounds, I'll be there to stop them. Ah, then I misunderstood. You will be first among equals. Good. Good? I do not agree with everything you have done, Inquisitor. Your actions have been short-sighted. You have made mistakes. But they are your mistakes. You cannot correct them unless you claim them. Honor your mistakes. In the end, they may be all you have. Forgive my melancholy. Corypheus has cost us much. The Temple of Methal did not deserve such a fate. The orb he carries, and its stolen power. That, at least, we may still recover. With luck, some of the past may yet survive. You planning to leave before we take down the bad guy? No, but there may not be a later. It seemed wise to say my goodbyes now. So, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around this. We went to an elven rune, so a witch could consume a pool of magical goo and then walked through a mirror, and wound up back here. Have I mentioned that the shit that happens to you is crazy? I don't want to think about this anymore. Want to discuss something normal? What can you tell me about this Corypheus? I'm not exactly an expert, but ask away and I'll answer what I can. How did you first encounter him? Well, a few years back, I was dealing with some trouble from a Carta clan that went rogue. They were sending assassins after the Hawk family. We tracked them to a rune in the Vimarks. It turned out to be a trap. Once you went far enough into the rune, there was a magic barrier that kept you from going back. The whole thing was a prison the Grey Wardens were using to hold what they thought was a powerful darkspawn. He looks like some sort of blighted creature, but he speaks. What is he exactly? The Wardens who imprisoned him thought he was just a darkspawn. But you heard him ranting. He claims he's a Magister. One who assaulted the Golden City, what, more than a thousand years ago? It seems crazy, but if he's telling the truth, he's one of the people who caused the blights. How did you first encounter him? A 
few years back, I was dealing with some trouble from a Carta clan that went rogue. They were sending assassins after the Hawk family. We tracked them to a rune in the Vimarks. It turned out to be a trap. Once you went far enough into the rune, there was a magic barrier that kept you from going back. The whole thing was a prison the Grey Wardens were using to hold what they thought was a powerful darkspawn. I've never heard of Wardens locking up Darkspawn. Why wouldn't they just kill him and be done with it? I don't think they could. From what we saw in there, Corypheus can control Wardens somehow. They couldn't attack him. The Wardens locked him up because there was nothing else they could do. You and Hawk both said before he was supposed to be dead. He was dead. We killed him. The only way for us to escape the prison Corypheus was trapped in was to go through him. We weren't going to just leave the door to his prison open behind us and hope he was dead. We made sure. All right. I think that's enough about Corypheus. No problem. well, I hope. What's been going on? Ambassador Montelier sent me a basket of flowers to thank me for my work with the Inquisition. She's so lovely. I should go. Most of the charges are still at the Temple of Mythal. I missed a crazy fire. Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the Chargers? A few Orlesian nobles didn't like how things ended at the Winter Palace. They're not rebelling outright, but they brought in mercenary companies in preparation. The Chargers have a good reputation. If we go in, we can buy the companies out from underneath them. The nobles will lose the men they met for causing trouble, and the Inquisition gets some fresh blood. We'll talk later. So to kill Corypheus, all we have to do is kill his dragon first? That's easy. We're good at killing shit. Just one more big fight to put this Magister asshole down for good. I knew you'd get us here, boss. I've been waiting for the chance to pay that bastard back. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Welcome back. Will you be coming to the readings? After what happened, I just assumed. After the destruction of a holy place. No, the triumph of holy action.
maker and lady. Corypheus is taking the lot of them apart. The Inquisition is on the Inquisitor? Let's talk about the Grey Wardens. You must know a lot about them. Ah, the Wardens. I'm afraid we're less exciting than we seem. Let's continue this at another time. As you wish. I'll be here if you need me. Your worship? Before me is shadow, yet shall the Maker be my guide. I shall not be left to wander the drifting roads of the beyond. For there is no darkness in the Maker's light, and nothing that he has wrought shall be lost. A prayer for you? For those we have lost, and those I am afraid to lose. You're afraid? Of course I am. Corypheus possessed that Grey Warden at Mythal. What more is he capable of? It's only a matter of time before he retaliates. We must draw strength wherever we can. When the time comes, you will be thrown into his path again. Andraste, preserve me. I must send you to him. What if I can't... Cullen, if I don't... Wait, no. Whatever happens, you will come back. Cullen, you don't have to... Allow me this. To believe anything else would... Thank you for Haven and your efforts at Therenfall. I am committed to serve your worship. Those who bear false witness and work to deceive others know this. Fire. There is but one. Watch that tit, Morris. Watch that tit, Morris. I do not like having that mirror, Illuvian, in Skyhold. Corypheus may not be able to travel through it, but what if something else can? What if it's something good? Morrigan claims that if I close my eyes and wish hard enough, a fleet of griffins will appear under my command. See, that's... probably not true. But it would be fun. It... well, yes, but that wasn't my point. <sighs> I'll stop worrying about it. So long as someone's watching it, 
Even if that someone is Morrigan. Do you have some time? Is there something on your mind? I think we've done enough work for the day, don't you? You may be right. I hoped you'd stop by. Is there anything I should know? I fear letting Calpurnia go was a mistake, but no harm has yet come of it. What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? What do you think of our ambassador? We have little in common. How she delights in meeting with nobles all day is beyond me. But I enjoy working with her. How do you like working with Liliana? The Inquisition would not exist without her. I may not always agree with her methods, but she's more passionate about our cause than anyone. Cassandra may have declared the Inquisition publicly, but Liliana is just as responsible for its formation. Are you satisfied with the Inquisition's forces? They have more than proven themselves. I'm proud to serve as their commander. I should let you get back to work.
just as I remember it. You didn't tell me you'd been here before. After the blight ended, I came here to see Justinia. She was just Dorothea then, a revered mother. I didn't expect it to be so... deserted. It makes me uneasy. It's a small village, and it's too early for the chant. I'm sure the sisters are somewhere. Liliana? Is that you? Sister Natalie, what are you doing here? I thought you were in Val Rayo. No, I've been here since Justinia died. This place makes me feel like... like she's still with us. Inquisitor, this is Natalie, a trusted friend. Wait, Inquisitor? You... you brought the Inquisitor here? My lady, forgive me for not recognizing you earlier. I wish more people would fail to recognize me. Oh, uh... I see. Natalie, listen. There is something hidden here. Something Justinia left for me. Oh, really? What is it? I don't know, but we'll find it. I'm curious to see what brought us all here. Justinia's letter came with instructions for me. They were a little cryptic. Always remember that faith sprung from a barren branch, that light has no fear of darkness. Above all, that strength lives in an open heart. She must be hinting at something in here. Let's look around. Do they still sing verses with benedictions every Friday? That canticle was Justinia's favorite. Uh, yes, of course. We never give up the traditions of our most beloved divine. Sometimes it's terrifying, but it is beautiful. Have you seen it by sunrise? When the sun rises, it looks like a thousand suns broken. You must be careful, Natalie. Justinia's enemies are making their move, vying for position and the sunburst throne.
What was that? Looks like we opened something. Sorry to keep you waiting. Finally. I was getting tired of all these tricks. They never sing the benedictions here on Fridays, Natalie. Something so simple. And you got it so wrong. I wanted to believe, but you were lying from the start. Keep that pretty mouth shut if you must, dear. You've already told me everything I need to know. The prickle with burrs on your hem, talking about the sun rising through the breach. It all points to a single place. Morel in the Dells, Grand Cleric Victoire's Bastion. She sent you, didn't she? Victoire was always an opportunist. Who is this Grand Cleric? I've never heard of her. An experienced cleric. She never agreed with Justinia, but kept her ideas to herself. I suppose now, with Justinia dead, she thought she could make her move. I want to know what this Grand Cleric planned here. She sent Natalie here to see what Justinia was hiding, no? The Inquisition has turned Thedas away from the true Chantry. It must be stopped. Stop us? You must be joking. Mother Victoire is well loved by many. The Inquisition has more enemies than you know. And Victoire thinks she can ally with them. Good work. We know the name of our enemy. That's half the battle won. Exactly. Kill me then. I am not afraid to die for my beliefs. At least I still know what I believe. This has to be done. You know it. I see what you've become. The riches stand before the darkness, and the Maker shall guide them. <laughs> Can't be it. There's nothing here. Check again. Perhaps the box itself is a puzzle. She seemed a puzzling sort. No, it's just it's just an empty box. There's a message carved in the lid. The left hand should lay down her burden. She... she's releasing me. The Divine has a long reach, but it is always her left hand that stretches out. A thousand lies, a thousand deaths. Her commands, but my conscience that bore the consequences. She apologized in the Fade. She said she failed you. This is what she meant. All this time, Justinia carried the fear that she was using me. Just like I'd been used in the past. But Marjolaine's games were trifles. Justinia gambled with the fate of nations. She needed me. No one else could have done what I did. She knows that. Sacrifices are necessary. You know that. I know. And hearing you agree gives me the courage to do what must be done. Justinia tried to save me, but all it's done is made me realize I don't need saving. There is work to be done. I'll see you back at Skyhold.
Leading Cassandra asked to see Good. your report on the Her Grand Cleric. Her support base is in Morel. Tear it down. Grand Cleric Victoire wishes to make an enemy of the Inquisition. I'll give her what she wants. Doesn't Victoire have a young cousin? Lord Firmin? She dotes on him. Yes, mistress. I believe that is so. Good. Have him collected. He shall be an honored guest, and make sure the Grand Cleric hears about it. At your command. Good work with the Grand Cleric. Thank you. I do what I can. You see, when I'm ruthless, it gets us where we need to be. It's something to be proud of. Why fix it? How funny that her regret is what finally puts my own to rest. I chose to become her left hand, knowing what it meant. It was my weakness that stopped me from fully committing to my task. You have a good heart. It's not a weakness. You are too kind, Inquisitor. Call it what it is. The Inquisition needs me just as the Divine did, to do what no one else dares. Death and deception are my trade. It is what I am. It is what I always will be. Inquisitor, thank the Maker you're here. Morrigan chased after her son into the Illuvian. She was terrified. I've never seen Morrigan like that. You must go after her. I will find help, Inquisitor. Wait. This isn't the crossroads. This is the Fade. How did the Illuvian lead here? Can it go anywhere? Too late. Why would Kieran do this? How could he do this? We stand in the Fade. To direct the Illuvian here would require immense power. If he is lost to me now after all I have sacrificed... We'll find him, Morrigan. He can't be far. The Fade is infinite. He could literally be anywhere. Whatever happens to him now, it is my doing. I set him on this path. Please, help me look, Inquisitor. Just a little longer.
There he is! Who's with him? That's... Mother! Mother. Now, isn't this a surprise? So this is all some kind of family reunion. <laughs> Mother, daughter, grandson. It rather warms the heart, does it not? Kieran is not your grandson. Let him go. As if I were holding the boy hostage. She's always been ungrateful, you see. Ungrateful? I know how you plan to extend your life, wicked crone. You will not have me, and you will not have my son. That's quite enough. You'll endanger the boy. What have you done to me? I have done nothing. You drank from the well of your own volition. <gasps> you... Armathal. Well, that was unexpected. You, of all people, should expect the unexpected by now. I'm sorry, Mother. I heard her calling to me. She said now was the time. I do not understand. Once I was but a woman, crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. And she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mithal through the ages, ever since, seeking the justice denied to her. You can't expect us to believe that. You hear the voices of the well, girl. What do they say? They... say you speak the truth. But what was Mithal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? Truth is not the end, but a beginning. A herald, indeed. Shouting to the heavens, harbinger of a new age. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth. If Mithal is within you, why not reveal yourself? And to whom should I reveal myself? To the elves. To everyone. <laughs> I knew the hearts of men even before Mithal came to me. It is why she came to me. They do not want the truth. And I, I am but a shadow lingering in the sun. Why did Mithal come to you? For a reckoning that will shake the very heavens. And you follow her whims. Do you even know what she truly is? You seek to preserve the powers that were, but to what end? It is because I taught you, girl. Because things happened that were never meant to happen. She was betrayed as I was betrayed, as the world was betrayed. Mythal clawed and crawled her way through the ages to me, and I will see her avenged! Alas, so long as the music plays, we dance. I presume you know what we're up against. Better than you could possibly imagine. So will you help us? Once I have what I came for. No, I will not allow it. He carries a piece of what once was, snatched from the jaws of darkness. You know this. He is not your pawn, Mother. I will not let you use him. Have you not used him? Was that not your purpose, the reason you agreed to his creation? That was them. 
Now he... He is my son. Flemeth extends her life by possessing the bodies of her daughters, Inquisitor. That was the fate she intended for me. I thwarted her, and now she intends to have Kieran instead. Wait. The way...